All right, what's going on, guys? We are back with Tokyo Ghoul Chapter 69 by Gone Days. Um, last chapter, we ended off with a little like sneak peek at the at the one eyed owl, which I'm really I'm really excited to see. Like I, I I doubt we'll get more of that character this chapter because it feels like it was just a tease, um, like a, like a little breadcrumb. But I'm really excited to see whatever is gonna happen with the one eyed owl, um, and yeah, I mean let's just let's just jump into this, man. Um, Iba, my arm. Let's get you to a medic. Shinohara, Mato, shut up. Oh, okay, so this is a flashback. Um, forget about me. I'm useless now. Just go get him. But sir, Mato, you want revenge, don't you? Go. Oh, this is against the one-eyed owl. Whoa. <laughs> Interesting. One day, a special investigator assigned to the third ward is killing. Uh, is killed by a ghoul. The mysterious ghoul is designated as X, uh, possessing combat abilities far superior to any investigator. Um, one month later, eradication of uh, Target X mounts a large-scale attack on the second ward CCG branch. It leads to X rating to be increased from S to SS, with X's cognate appearing similar to feathers. X's designation is changed to the Owl. Six to eight Kakoho are confirmed. The Owl is believed to be a uh, Ukaku ghoul. Also, the Owl is believed to have only one Kakugen. According to the last report by an investigator that died on duty, the Owl is redesignated as the One-Eyed Ghoul. Interesting. Uh, the Ghoul's attention center in the 23rd Ward is attacked by a number of ghouls, including the Owl. Um... His rating was increased again. Uh, senior investigator Kuwa, uh, Kuro Iwa, a member of the specially formed special countermeasure unit, inflicts critical damage to the owl's kakoho with his kinke. Senior investigator uh, Kuro Iwa sustains heavy injuries in this attack and is removed from the unit. The owl attacks the second ward for a third time, this time appearing alone. The injury senior investigator uh, Kura Iwa inflicted has now fully healed. The special investigators of the specially formed team try their best to eliminate him, but are all incapacitated. Um, the CCG has no answer to the owl's overwhelming power. Special investigator, I'm, bor I'm borrowing your kinke. Um, who is this? Rank 2 investigator, uh, Kisho Arima, 19 years old at the time. Personally recruited by Chief General Chairman Washu and appointed to Rank 3 investigator under a special uh, dispensation, earning a promotion to Rank 2 in less than a year. Um, and the young talent that was selected for this assignment, Arima. Used up the special investigator's kinkes and closed in on the owl. The battle between the prodigy rank two investigator Arima and the natural calamity, the one eyed owl. Interesting. And this this was Arima at 19 years old, too, mind you. Sheesh. Um, dude, look at this fight. Um, so it came to a close with the doves on the winning side. Interesting. The owl who sustained critical wounds disappeared and subsequently remained out of sight. That was 10 years ago. Is the young man who robbed me of both my arms not here tonight? Oh, I didn't even notice that. So Arima actually managed to cut off the owl's arms? Interesting. Um, I've been hearing a lot about you as well. You've done quite well for yourself in the past 10 years. Perhaps I should have taken your dominant arm like I did to your boss, Special Investigator Shinohara. Maru, this is not good. The owl? You sure about that? Which is insane because the owl hasn't made an appearance in, ten, in, in a decade, right? And for him to actually show up here of all places, this is nuts. Um... 
His school organization's activity is reminiscent of 10 years ago. Is the owl their leader? <laughs> if only I were him over here. Who gives a crap about some emergency investigation of the two four? Sh uh, Shinohara. Only keep competent men that are expendable and send the rest to the other towers. If you two can't handle him, then nobody can. It'll just be a waste of lives and uh, won't buy us any time either. Deal with him with the lowest number of men possible over and out. Um, take everyone to Tower 7. Yes, sir. Regroup over here, everyone. Yeah. Hida, I need you here. Yes, sir. All 13th Ward senior investigators uh, uh, and above, stay here with me. Yes, sir. Special Investigator uh, Kuraiwa, what about me? Um, I didn't even make that investig that connection that Kuraiwa was there back then and he's here as well, facing the, the, the owl. Um, go take out Jason and the two Bikaku. Yes, sir. Mon, you two, head to Tower 7, sir. Why? I want to. Mon, that's a direct order. You better follow it. But I... I don't want another situation like Mr. Mato. I'm staying. Let me fight with you. Oh boy. Your eyes. Instructor Shinohara. Exactly what is the effective range of the RC cell uh, uh, recursivity? Oh, uh, well, that's a great question. Your eyes haven't changed from your academy days. Rank 1 investigator I'm on. Yes, sir. This, also, this, this face, man, is awesome. Oh, she know how punched him. Because I mean, yeah, like I, I, I can under like I understand his his passion, Amon's um uh passion to want to go in there and fight against the owl. But at the same time, he was given a direct order, right? Um and at the same time, like Amon is is, you know, relatively young, you know, up and coming, right? I feel like that's a that's a card you want to save for the future of the CCG in the worst case scenario, right? And in, in, in case something terrible does happen against this fight with the owl, it makes a hundred percent sense why you would want to keep someone like Amon, you know, relatively safe and out of this fight. And to leave it to the truly experienced people, right? Um anyway. It's a direct order. Go with Assistant Special Investigator Chino. And also, do not underestimate Special Investigators. You are one of the non-expendable ones. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get at, I feel like. Now go. Yes, sir. Yuriko. What's the highest rate you've subjugated? Redes uh, Ukagu, sir. Okay, good. So I'm one of the expendable, expendable ones? Uh, not necessarily. It's okay. I understand. Special Investigator Shinohara, Kuraiwa, where are your kinkes? Hmm? Oh. We are wearing them. What? A proto uh, Kokaku. Whoa. Nice. All right, so now we're back with Toka versus her brother, Ayato. You know you're weak, so stop making me chase you around. Want me to send you to see Dad? <laughs> you little. Open your eyes, Ayato. What are you doing with these guys? Have you gone crazy? Huh? You're the one that's crazy. I'm trying to be like Dad. I'm not like you, Toka. Also, like, I want to learn more about, uh, the dad. Um, man, dude, I'm, I'm trying to see, like, which one is which. So, like, to obviously, Toka was the one who sent the kick, and Ayato's the one that, like, ducked under it. And then, I'm guessing, since Toka was still in the air, she was the one who eventually grabbed onto the rail over here. Like, this is her. But then, 
I've never seen her with black nails, so this would, to me, that would insinuate that that's actually Ayato, right? I don't know. Anyway. Um, I won't hold back, even against you. I'll rip off these half-assed wings of yours. Oh, so he actually bit down on her. Dude. I need to know more about the relationship, man. Like, why? <laughs> why are things like this? And it seems like that's what we're going to get this, this, this volume. Uh, this volume is going to be predominantly focused on them, which I'm very happy about. So we'll, we'll save that for the next reaction. Um... So yeah, I'm the one-eyed owl man. That's insane. I love that we got a little bit of a of a backstory into him, um, into the character, and just how insane he is. Um, but that he has kind of been out of the picture for for over ten years. Now he's finally back. Um, but they have you know uh, Kuda Kuda Iwa right, who has experience with fighting against the owl there. So, you know, you would think that that would come in handy, but, um, and then you also have Shinohara there as well. So like, I don't, I don't know, man. Um, nonetheless, I'm just I'm, like my expectations of what the one eyed owl can be. is just through the roof. Like, I feel like we are truly going to see some things that like, I've never seen a ghoul do before. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm expecting a lot. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, chapter, guys. Like, comment, subscribe for more Tokyo Ghoul, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.